it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Malissipat Brewery, one of my favourite, favourite Finnish craft breweries. They're from Nantali in Finland and this is their Lekka Extra IPA, brewed with Centennial, Simcoe, Citra and it's 40 IBUs, International Bittering Units. I'll cover that in a bit if you want me to. Um, it's a 330 milliliter Red Bull style can of beer. <clears throat> Serve at eight degrees. Now I've had this out of my fridge for about 30 minutes. So it's probably around eight degrees to be honest with you. Perfect temperature. So you're able to benefit from a relatively cold beer but you're also able to benefit from the taste of the hops and the malt look at that look at that for a beer almost looks like a red ale didn't it wow Ooh, interesting So hops struggle and so does malt if you chill it down below four degrees. It's the reason why you drink like mass produced or pe some people, a lot of people choose to drink mass produced lagers is because they're designed that they just throw back beers. There's no, there's no real flavour. There's no real depth to them. They're brewed to be drunk freezing cold. Uh, the moment you warm something like that up, the moment you warm up a a mass-produced lager it starts to taste terrible doesn't it uh, and that's the reason why lager drinkers mainstream lager drinkers cannot understand why people who enjoy good beer craft beer real ales and that that those sort of beers they they can understand that you know the, there's an almost a feeling that people like us drink warm beer when it couldn't be further from the truth couldn't be further from the truth it's just a case of Drinking your beer at the right temperature, eight degrees, still nice and cold, being able to benefit from that nice chilled beer, but at the same time, you're able to benefit from all of those lovely hops and malt that's in the beer. So we've got a one finger white head, um, good levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. It's a nice hazy, I'm definitely going to go with what I initially thought, a, a Definitely a red ale. The ABV, did I give the ABV a 6.8% ABV? So it's it's quite quite high for an IPA, but it looks fantastic. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, this has got one of those kind of like lovely. You're definitely picking up some sweet malt in here. It's a bit like the aroma of a mixed fruit jam, a candy. Because you're picking up the, the, the fruit of the hops. You're picking up, I say the fruit of the hops, that is a terrible thing to just come out with. The hops are offering aromas of peach, Mango, orange peel, grapefruit, fleshy blood orange. And combined with that darker malt, that red malt in the beer, it's almost like a candied aroma. It smells absolutely fantastic. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, 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 Malissipa. Malissipa, oi. That's, that's how they pronounce brewery in, uh, in Finland. Oi means brewery, beer. 
Mint beer, not brewery. Oi, mint beer. Um, but what a fantastic beer. What a fantastic beer. That is right up my street. Now, Melissa Pat have sent me a load of beers over the last three or four years. They're very good at kind of like producing a batch of beer. And then they're like, oh, let's send it to that Welsh guy in the UK. Thank you. I really do appreciate when you, when you guys send, um, which is every single batch. I seem to get a big batch of beer from you guys, which is just fantastic. But I'm going to say, and I'm going to say right now, this is right up my street. This is probably the nicest tasting Melissa Pat beer I've ever had. And that is purely because of my own personal preferences in what I like in beer. I love malt. I started off as a real ale drinker, drinking your, your Green Kings, your Abbott Ales, your Old Speckled Hens. You know, those sorts. I cut my teeth drinking those styles of beers. And I will always have a close affiliation with real ale. So when you combine that big malt body to the beer that you get in abundance here, you really do get it in abundance. Lovely, creamy, rich, full body, malty, sweet, biscuity, bready brew. And then you add that combination of New World hops, which I also love. This is the perfect beer for me. This is absolutely the perfect beer for me. Look at the way that beer is looking in the glass. As you roll that beer around in the glass, look at the carbonation chasing the head of the glass. Look at that. Look at the quality on that beer. Absolutely fantastic. Great lacing, great head retention. Wonderful balanced taste. Balance is the word here. you got the sweet, bready, biscuity, almost nutty like malt over here. But then you got that fantastic kind of, what do they, they say, Centennial, they said Centennial, Simcoe and Citra. They're your dream hops, aren't they? If you're a big fan of American craft beer, they're the hops that really shine in beer. And they offer flavours of, 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 of grapefruit, orange peel, tangerine flavours, a little touch of mango and passion fruit. It's wonderful. So that sweetness over there, the bitterness over there, slight bitterness, 40 IBUs. It's terrific. I promise to talk about, I'll do it very quickly because I'm, um, I'm, I'm really in the groove with this beer. I just want to carry on tasting this beer. I promised to talk about IBUs, didn't I? Right, IBUs are International Bittering Units. It's a global world kind of thing of how bitter is your beer. And it's on a scale of zero, which is zero bitterness, and 100, 100 IBUs, which is the most your palate can take in terms of bitterness before you might as well brew a million IBU beer. And you'll only get to 100 before... Your brain just says no, 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 no. Um, so 100 IBUs, really, really bitter. Zero IBUs, zero international bittering units. So this is 40. So this is around, well, it's just in the middle, isn't it? Just under the, like the, the, the middle of the bitterness. But it's, what a fantastic beer. The Lekka is back. This first beer ever released by Melissa Pat. Wow. It's a bold combination of delicious fruitiness, big mouthfeel and moderate bitterness in perfect balance. Wow, I tell you what, if that's the first beer by Melissa Pat, I haven't read the back of the can until now, I promise you that, then this should be a permanent. In my eyes, this should be a permanent, permanent beer in Melissa Pat's range. This is top. Top, top quality beer. All of their beers are top, top quality. They produce beer at a fantastic quality. But this beer lends itself. It leans itself into what I like in beer. Malt, hops, balance. 
big kind of like combinations of flavor. You could you could put the combinations of all of these different kind of sweet malt flavors over here with all of the hops over here. You know, they clash, they bang together. It's wonderful. This is wonderful. This, I cannot speak highly enough of this beer. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.